ERP is a software which runs on internet technology. It has its own business processes and internal control system. These business processes are procured to pay, order to cash and etc. There are various business processes. Along with this, there are various modules inside this ERP software and this modules are divided based on financial track supply chain management track and human capital management track in finance track there is a payables module there is receivables module there is a journal ledger module fixed assets cash management in supply chain management there is a purchasing module inventory module order management and so on same way in human capital management there is a module of payroll and etc so these are the modules covered in erp software and it's an organized software it is strategically planned, which is having internal control system, security control system. And it is also designed in such a way which helps business organization to streamline their business processes and run the business without any hurdles or struggle. Now, just think logically, this ERP system has evolved over a period of time. Before computer and internet age, there was business running manually. And while the business was running manually, there were also processes. And as and when the computer and internet technology evolved, this ERP software also has been evolved. So whatever the business processes were followed manually previously, all those processes, they are streamlined with standard business processes. If you want to purchase any goods, there is a process. If you want to sell any goods, there is a process. If we hire an employee, there is a process. So based on this, the ERP system has been evolved. So just think logically. Before ERP also, there was a business which was a manual business. And after ERP implementation, business has become digital. Means all the transactions of purchase, sale, expenses, income, revenue are being recorded in ERP system. Before ERP also, this purchase, sale, income, expense, revenue, all were recorded in manual mode. That means there were papers and lots of manual efforts was involved. But after ERP implementation, everything is now on computer and internet technology and now it is moving on to cloud. So this ERP system are sold by various different different types of companies. So for example, Oracle ERP is one company. Then there is another company called SAP, which also have their own ERP. Then Microsoft have their own ERP. And in India, we have Tele ERP. So these are all the system or softwares which are having their own ERPs. So the ERP might be different, but the business processes inside this ERP will be same. Like procure to pay, order to cash, hire to retire. These are all the processes which will be same across this different different ERP. Maybe the vendors, sellers may be different, but the business processes will be same. Now, this different different ERP companies have their own different different configurations. Okay, though the business processes are same, but the configurations might be different. The configuration of ERP Oracle will be different from SAP Oracle will different from Microsoft ERP will different from Tele ERP. So the configurations may be different, but the business processes will be same. That should be very, very clear. Let me give you a simple example to make you understand this. So let's say there are various mobile phone companies. iPhone is one company, Samsung is another company. Now iPhone have their own features. Samsung is having their own features, but the prime processes like calling, running internet, listening music, running different applications are same. So in that way, you can understand the processes are same, but the configurations functionalities are different. I hope this example gives you a clear understanding. All right. So there are different, different Oracle ERP companies who sells the ERP. Please pardon me for my handwriting because I am using a pen tab which I have recently bought just to create these YouTube videos. Okay, another party involved which is the business organization. This ERP systems are used by business organizations. Business organization simply like any company you can take. So in real world we have Amazon and in India popularly we have Reliance, Tata which are very big companies. So that kind of companies you can think of but this ERP can be used by small, medium or large organization. Any of this organization can use so in our example i am taking the amazon company because that's a very common company which hope everyone knows so let's say there is a business organization who wants to implement the erp so in our case let's say amazon purchases erp from oracle and oracle is selling their erp to amazon so this is a sale this is a purchase and this purchase is based on license so amazon has to pay license fee for the usage of this erp system so these are the two parties first is erp vendor and the second one is business organization 
There is a third party which is ERP consultancy company. This ERP consultancy company is an expert in implementing this ERP. Now, this ERP implementation is a very critical activity for any business organization involved. So if Amazon is purchasing Oracle ERP, Amazon is incurring a very huge amount of money because Amazon will run their business on this ERP software. So Amazon has to be very careful in terms of deciding their business processes. What will be their procure to pay cycle? What will be their order to cash cycle? Every small thing they have to plan carefully and for that they need an expert. And in real world, there are companies which are providing ERP consultancy services and this ERP consultancy companies provides implementation. Once this ERP application is implemented, then Amazon runs their business processes on this ERP application. So their sales order, their shipment, their delivery, their invoicing, their payment, everything will be done from this ERP system. So that's how business organization runs the business processes in the ERP application with the help of an ERP functional consultant. So primarily there are three companies, ERP selling company, there is business organization and there is a ERP consultancy company, which helps Amazon to implement the ERP. So this ERP is kind of an application only. So in mobile phone, we have different different applications like WhatsApp, Facebook, payment applications, gaming applications. They are very at small level, but this ERP application is at wider level. It's so complex. There are different different modules. Okay, so that's why we call this as an application. And this is a very giant, very complex, very big application. So I may refer the word ERP system, ERP software, ERP application. Interchangeably, we can use these words. I always feel that uh, we should think logically because whatever this ERP system, business processes are everything evolved from a human mind only. And this mind thinks logically. So if you will think logically, it will be easy for us to understand the things in a better way. And you don't need to remember anything. Just think logically. I hope you got the understanding. Now this is I have explained with the practical example, whatever I have seen in the real world. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, maybe good or bad doesn't matter to me. Just mention in the comment section and uh, thank you so much for your time and take care.